Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here outside of the Soul Cairn after exploring it, I think, pretty bloody thoroughly. We've managed to make our way back here, back to Hogwarts, past some gargoyles that hopefully aren't about to wake up and attack me, because gargoyles don't really seem to have an allegiance, they'll just kind of attack anyone going. And we've got a few things to do to start off with today. We've got ourselves two of the three Elder Scrolls, apparently we need to hand like one of them over to what's-his-face, the Moth Priest I seduced and then brought here, so he can like read that one out and that'll be good. And then, then we've got a dragon to summon... <laughs> who I'm told is basically like a summoned creature. So if I do the shout onto the ground, he'll basically just pop up, even if I'm like inside, and he'll just like help out, but because uh, he's like a summoned thing, I can't actually... Nope, Serana, there's no need for you to, to run all the way around the... Never mind, you just do whatever you want. Okay! She... Wow, that, that was impressive there. That was well done there, Serana. Yeah, uh, basically I can't like have Moira out at the same time as I actually like have my summoned dragon friend. So... Okay, I was a bit disappointed with, you know, the Wrath Man and the Mist Man and the Bone Man and whatever. But I'll say, having... Also, if I hop down, is she going to do the same thing now? Okay, what are you going to do now? What are... Oh, no, shit! Wow! An NPC in a Bethesda game that knows how to jump down from something. Saints be praised. Right, now, where's Dexion gone and got himself to? He's up there somewhere. All right, let's go and have a quick chat to him. Hand over Elder Scroll number two. Ah, I think he's in Harkin's room, in fact. Hello. He's drinking... Oh! Hang on, you're Garen, Garen Marathi. Wait, hang on, you're important. I should speak to you, because as I understand it, some of these vampires have, like, little quests. But I was told that if you're the guy I think you are, you're the, you're the intellectual guy. If you're the guy who's, like, the librarian, you've got the best ones. So I should speak to you about them. Right, Garen, what could I do to help? Because if you've got a really awesome quest, also, that's a really good place for you to stand. With your face all kind of shrouded in darkness by the light behind it and your eyes glowing, you look seriously badass right now. Speak with Vingalmo. He has something for you. No, no, not Vingalmo. I want to speak to... Wait, are you the guy I think you are? Hang on, there's, there's a guy over here as well. Ooh, you look cool in the darkness as well. Ooh, everyone looks so badass. Right, well, Vingalmo's here. I'll get whatever he wants at least, see if that sounds good. Right, what can I do to help you then? I found a new candidate, ripe for Harkon's gift. I'm sending you to welcome this soul into our family. Valendor of Riften has his ears in places that we'd love to listen in. Joining our family should increase our possibilities in the south. Put his mind to rest, allay his fear through vampiric seduction, and when he is in a pliant condition, embrace him and bite him on the neck. Okay, right, so that's not quite what I was expecting. I was hoping for a quest where, like, they send you after some old artifacts that I'm told are very powerful. And, yeah, hang on, so if I just bite anyone do they become a vampire, why, like, is he going to become one when other people I might bite won't be? While the blessed state of undeath can be accidentally conferred, consider the brutish creatures you find wailing in dank hovels in the wild. Only those who can trace their ancestry through Harkon's mortal bloodline can faithfully accept the power conferred by his vampiric blood. And among those, it seems, only when the heavens show the correct aspects. I have found such a soul, and the stars appear cooperative. Right, so does that mean logically I myself am actually somehow distantly related to Harkon? I mean, if I was playing like a Kaji character, that would raise all sorts of interesting questions. Because he himself bestowed upon you a portion of his vitality when he infused you with his own blood the night you returned with Serana. A small measure of his blood now and forever flows through your veins. Yeah, but you just said that wasn't enough. You just said that the only people that could be turned into, like, proper vampires like us are people who somehow, like, share some form of ancestral connection to Harkon. This DLC isn't always very well thought through, is it? Oh, wait, hang on. I think this might be the guy I actually want. Ferran Sadri. Speak with Vingalmo. He has something for you. Oh, gosh, John, I think it all needs to be done in the right order. So until I've done that, these guys won't give me anything different to do. Well, I think I need to pass through Riften at some point anyway, because I need to drop off a bunch of equipment there. Because, yeah, I've just picked up a whole bunch of heavy stuff from the Soul Cairn. Right, well, we might go and do that later, but for the time being... Ah! Moth Priest just chilling out at the table here. Right. Would you like to read out, like, a second scroll or something? Yes. How may I serve you, my lady? 
I've got you an Elder Scroll. Like, read it out or translate it or whatever it is you do. I'm not entirely clear on that. I am afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, milady. Please do not be angry with me. Right, well, I'm going to be honest. He doesn't appear to have eyes anymore. Did he ever have eyes? I can't remember whether he ever had eyes. I think he used to have eyes. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling, it's that I am physically unable. Right, so you've been blinded, so I need more flipping moth priests. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Okay. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Ah, I was actually wondering why he was called a Moth Priest, because he originally got his abilities or shares them with a bunch of Moths. All right, fine. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Right, okay, so where do I get the bloody knife from? And also, oh, so many questions. And weirdly, I can't actually even ask him where the knife is, so hopefully the quest marker knows. Anyway, actually, I am curious. How exactly is a moth supposed to interpret a document that, like, sees through time or something? Well, as I'm sure you've figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Well, that's interesting. I'm not really sure that's actually true. Uh, Skyrim was the first kind of Elder Scrolls game I really kind of got into, so I'm not sure. Like, are there moths in, like, Morrowind and Oblivion and stuff? That's kind of interesting. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. Okay, that's pretty darn cool. Right, you know what? I'll just go get the bloody knife. And would you believe it, the knife is hidden behind the one city I haven't actually bothered to make my way to yet. It's Folk Reef, so we need to make a proper journey into Folk Reef itself. Alright, fair enough. So, uh, yeah, I kind of just skimmed around the outside of Folk Reef. Probably the best thing I could do would be head over to, yeah, something like the Half Moon Mill and follow the road round, see what we just kind of find on the way. But, while we're heading in that direction, I will nip back to White Trunk, because, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to drop off at my house there. Oh, I've just realised that, unfortunately, yes, it's been a while since I've fed. So, apparently, I'm hated and despised, and I just gained, like, Embrace of Shadows and something. Vampires Invisible has improved night vision for 180 seconds. Very, very nice indeed. Right, so, I need to find someone to, like, vampires to juice and then feed on to, like, stop myself, like, turning into a... I don't know, a vampire that people can recognise as a vampire or something? So I just need to find someone who ideally lives a little bit more on their own, don't I? Yes. Yeah, that would do. How about this? Ah! Okay. Solder. Well, I think your solder's currently over there just dealing with the whole... Wait. Where's everyone? Where's... Everyone kind of should be here, right? I would have thought... Okay, fine, whatever. Um... Right, oh, oh, okay, dear. Okay, look, shut up about the ancestor thing, all right? I'm busy for the time being. Uh, right, let's just see if she's in here, given it seems to be all quiet for the time being. Also, let's actually just flipping get that vampire seduction set. And nope, sadly, not here. Fine, I think I need to wait for night. If we wait for night, then we can just sneak into someone's house and just very quickly vampire seduce. Or maybe, actually, we could just flipping, you know, get some blood off them without them even realising if I'm being super sneaky and awesome. I mean, actually, it's almost night already. Okay, maybe we just hang out at the back here 
just for the time being. And then, yeah, when it's proper night, we'll break in some houses, find someone to feed on. All right. Midnight now. Everything should be fine. Okay. Now, hopefully, your soldiers... Okay, now your soldiers wandering out at midnight. That's... Ooh. Are we about to witness a midnight rendezvous between these two? No, no, never mind. She's just, I don't know, going to the pub or something. Right, you're the guy who works with... Oh, no, you're Bellathor. Right, sorry, I thought you were the guy who worked with Bellathor. Um, okay. There was one house over here. There's an old little old woman, isn't there? Yeah, Olava the Feeble. Probably not got, you know, like the best blood on her, but it'll do in a pinch. Right, there she is, right there. Now, to make sure she doesn't wake up... Quick bit of silent muffling. Okay, silent muffling. Now we just quickly sneak in. Get a bit of blood off her. That gets rid of vampiric cravings. Everything's good, all right? So there. Now we just feed on her. Lovely. And my vampiric powers recede. Can I feed again? That might have been too much feeding that time. Okay, I'm still receding. Like... Do I need to, like, bring them down multiple levels? Like, if I feed just one more time, I feel like I'll be all right. Yeah, I think we're okay. I've probably taken enough blood out of her at this point. Maybe we should just be on our way. Yeah, vampiric seduction isn't even available anymore, which I think means I'm now down at the lowest level, so that's fine. Okay, so that gets around the problem of being hated and feared and the guards probably attacking me on sight. Time to drop off some stuff at my house. Though actually, before I do that, one important thing I do need to check. This dragon stuff I've picked up. Uh, what do I actually need to do to improve the damn stuff? Because I've got... Okay, I need dragon scales to improve that. Well, that's fine. I'm pretty sure I've actually got some dragon scales and just basic leather to improve that. Ooh, quite a bit, in fact. Yeah, okay. So I kind of feel like I do want to go over to the Vampire Royal Armour. Like, it gives me pretty much the same level of magic regeneration as my main armour does. Except, yeah, with the big advantage of actually providing some, uh, if not great, then at least okay light armour. stuff. And actually, wait, hang on. If I'm wearing that as opposed to my robes, then technically I will be wearing... Ah, oh, but I'll still be wearing... Wait, is this a... Uh... No, that's light armour. Okay, and I can... Oh, I can improve that. Oh, I never knew. Right, so apparently I could actually be wearing light armour on, like, head and body and arms and legs. So if that was true, then presumably I could get the benefits from the light armour tree. But yeah, I'm going to need refined moonstone and I'm going to be needing... Yeah, just basic leather and I'm going to be needing some dragon scales. Got it. Now, is the same true for the dragon weapons I just found? No, dragon bones to make that better. Well, that's absolutely... Oh, 109 base, though. Oh, 109 base. Oh, I like that. And that's just superior. I could probably do some potioning to get that even better yet. Right. I'm liking this. And I do indeed just have a whole pile of bones and scales in my chest upstairs here. Good. Good. Good, I'm glad I saved some of them. Now, speaking of that, light armor. Let's actually investigate this. Now, I'm not planning to use robes anymore. So, uh, okay, increasing the armor rating for light armor. can just get that up a little bit here. 25% bonus if wearing all light armor. So, head, chest, hands, and feet, which I think I'm about to start doing. Weighs nothing, doesn't slow you down. Okay. Stamina regenerates, not so important. 10% chance of avoiding all damage. That is nice, but I'm miles off that and needs to match. Okay, I won't have it all matching because I definitely want to be using the dragon bone gauntlets and I doubt I'm going to come across just like random dragon bone boots and helmet and chest piece now. But armor bonus and, well, actually, I could also just flip and take... I could take this right now and then I could take, yeah, okay. I could then take unhindered, so weighs nothing. That's kind of nice, but is that... No, that's not if it's a full set. That's just if it's a full set. But then it doesn't actually even need to be a matching set. It just says uh, all light armour, which I think I am presumably currently doing. Okay, right. At some point pretty soon, we need to go and actually do a great big redo of all my equipment. But not right this second. No, 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 no. Right now, we've got to start an epic flipping journey. 
Right, all the new stuff dropped off. We'll come back to that later. This isn't actually that much of an epic journey, to be honest. It's basically just a little jaunt south. So I just need to, yeah, the Half Moon Mill, which I was actually suspicious the person there was a vampire already, so now me and them can be like vampire BFFs. We just need to join up the road, head south. Apparently there's... Why have I got Haldir's Cairn here? I don't even know why that's a thing, but screw it, we can go and investigate it while we're passing by on the way to Falkreath. Lovely. And my vampire blood boils in the... Uh-oh, she's just spotted. Who have you just spotted? It's just... Is that just some flipping... Oh, it's just the bloody Dawn Guard again. But wouldn't this just be the perfect flipping time for me to just randomly yell out CURSE NEVER DYING and have a flipping dragon show up to help me? Yes! Yes, I think it would be! So let's give that a go! Okay, that didn't work. Is it because I'm on a bridge? There we go! Oh, I've got a flipping dragon now! Okay! So now I've got a dragon. Do you want to help? Do you, do you want to help at some point? Okay, may, maybe you don't want to help. How's Serana doing? Oh, she's doing just flipping fine. She's just draining this guy's health. Oh, yeah. You are apparently very good at your job. And you can't be bothered to... Oh, wait. You didn't actually help. You were supposed to help! Okay, apparently he's, he's decided he doesn't want to help. He decided he just wants to... I kind of thought you were going to fight alongside me. Oh, he has done. Right, now is he going to help? Oh my goodness, I've got a dragon buddy. I've got a dragon buddy and that's so cool. Right, you're human as well, aren't you? Because I kind of need some souls. So you guys, oh yeah. Meet my giant friend, Dragon. He's pretty darn badass if I do say so myself. Right, I'll have your soul from a black soul gem because I kind of need that. Oh, yeah, actually, I need quite a few souls. So let's just quickly recharge Chillrend using... There, wait, wait, what? Oh, it's because I've topped up a black thing first. Okay, hang on. Right, just need to... Excuse me. <laughs> Don't do that. Right, just, just hold still for one second while I just quickly get you down. I need your soul as well. Lovely. There we go. Right, soul captured again. Any more people floating around? I think there might be another one over there. Though now have we filled up the... No, we're still not filling up that. We've just got loads of empty black soul gems. Fine, we're just filling them up first, apparently. Right, what else have we got here? We've got... Oh, you've brought... Oh, blimey. We've got a lot of people floating around on our side. We've got dragons. We've got... Oh, can you bring back two people at once? I guess you've... Oh, no! Okay, so I can summon a dragon. The dragon can summon a bone man. Serana can also bring people back from the dead. But I can't bring anyone else back on my side for the time being because that would cancel the dragon. Got it. But don't, no, don't kill things that fast. Oh, bloody hell, it's fine. Right, so. Oh, I can just have a flipping conga line of people following me around. Which, don't attack the dragon. Don't. That's my dragon. I wonder if I can summon that dragon while I'm fighting a dragon. Ah, uh, good. And my dragon's just naffed off over there and is probably now currently taking out a bloody place of bandits. But I don't care. That's not, that's not where we're, wait, is it where we're going? Oh, sorry, that is the way we're going. The dragon's actually going in the correct direction. Oh, this is perfect. I'm glad we're doing this, Dio. So you get a flipping dragon on my side. That's amazing. Have I healed up, by the way? I think I have. Uh, well, I have now if I hadn't before. Right, so we are heading in the right direction, and there's a road... Yeah, we're just sticking on a road here. Well, that's fine. Let's just quickly nip off the road for a second to go and clean up what my dragon's located. So my dragon's found some ruins, presumably with some people in it. So we'll just go and get some more flipping souls off them. Apparently, I've got all the flipping black soul gems in the world to fill up right now. Though, actually, I'm not sure this was... Oh, hello. There's a... Okay, Arc Necromancer's Khajiit. Do I... Do I get the thing out of that? Oh, hello. Yeah, we do indeed have an Arc Necromancer up there. Where's... Okay, where's the rest of my team? Right, we've got someone over there. Ah, but my shouts are still on cooldown because summoning the dragon is apparently quite intensive. Understandably, I suppose. Right, in that case, we're going to need something a bit more powerful. Chillrend has still got some charge. In fact, go on, as you're a magic user, let's actually do some flipping magic for once. Hello up there. No. Oh, dear. I've got a... No, I've... Got a ward up. Got my ward. Now, just paralyze up. Paralyze up. Paralyze up. Paralyze up. Paralyze up. Paralyze up. Okay. That didn't work so hot. I'm determined to believe that paralyzing her can work. Hello up there. And 
Boom! And that's got you down. But now I'm extreme tripping slow. Right, now finish you off, finish you off. You are really resistant to being paralyzed with chill rend, aren't you? Weirdly so. Just one more. Oh, we got her. We got her. It's fine. Serana finally caught up. Day late and a dollar flipping short. Oh, I probably shouldn't be doing this in the day. Because I'm a vampire. Sorry, I forget about that sometimes. Right, just quickly heal up. It's good for my restoration anyway. What did you have on you, my good lady? Glass dagger, necromancer, nothing worth having to be honest. Oh, I should have got you soul if I could have done that. Would have been a flipping shame. Oh, yes. And she has actually given me or other the dragon. I think it's a he. I don't know. I'm not really sure whether you gendered dragons. They have he and she. They might do, but then... I don't remember ever seeing, like, a dragon by voice I'd identify as she. Maybe they all just sound like that. I'm not sure whether there are actually male and female dragons if there's just, like, dragons. So, right, okay. Also, there's just a random chest here. So, go on. Ooh, common soul gem. I'll take some of that. And that's definitely worth having just for the selling. I think the dragon's naffed off, by the way. But I assume I can just summon it again because it is just a shout I could use over and over. Though, bear in mind what I've learned. You can't use it on a bridge because you need to shout it at the ground. Got it. Right, Folk Reef is already pretty bloody close, but there's a couple of different... Ooh. Hang on, there's a couple of different ruins in this direction. Right, let's just go back over towards the road. I think the road is actually... Uh, that was leading round to the right anyway. Looks like actually there might be a couple of different ruins or barrows or something actually on the way to Folk Reef. In fact, actually, that one feels... From how it's wibbling on the compass when I move side to side, that one feels like it's pretty bloody close. Nice! Let's go find ourselves a dungeon! Including up there, that looks distinctly like some form of dragon-related statue. That could be a useful word of power. Oh yeah, first, let's just... That's blatantly the road to Folk Reef. Right, remember that. So when I come back here, take the left-hand branch down towards Folk Reef. But there's... There's something here, and this is generally a good yep. That's some sort of barrow-related thing. We've got ourselves... Also a horse. Okay. Random horse. Except, uh... I feel like this horse isn't doing so hot. This horse is just... Well, it's there. I can't walk through it. But it's... It's a frozen horse. Okay. This is... This is all very odd indeed. Right. Well, let's go and figure out who that horse belongs to. Ooh. Is it? No. I was about to say, is it you? No, it's not. Because you are a stone post and not a person. Right. North Shriekwind Bastion. Oh, that just does not sound like a friendly place at all, does it? No. No, it doesn't. Right. So, you got this place here. Can open this gate. Is this actually openable? Fine. So, I can get in here, but can't help but notice there's also some stairs to the side. Let's just quickly scout out, see if I can find, like, a... Uh... I don't know, a camp or something here first. Figure out who that horse belongs to. Possibly it's just a glitched horse. Possibly it's part of a bigger, wider story. Because that, ah, that path will probably lead up to the top that I saw earlier a minute ago. But what's the point of all of, ooh. Vigorous healing and a greater soul gem. Thank you very much indeed. Right, follow the path up the side of the mountain here. Presumably that will lead up to that little statue I saw. Before we actually go in, let's just see if we can get ourselves a free word of power from the top. Ooh. Okay. Chests and cool stuff too. Uh, nothing major though. Just useless stuff and a tiny bit of money. Okay. But what have I stumbled upon here? Because this... Ah. This doesn't get me up to the top. It just gets me a little way up. Okay. So I've made a tiny bit of money, but... I feel like there was still something up top we haven't seen yet. Fine, we'll mean to find another way up to that. Right, back to the Bastion. Let's go check that out. Except, okay, vampire, daytime, generally a bad thing for me. My stamina's all gone and it ain't coming back. Right, well, let's get inside because inside I think my stamina should actually come back just flipping fine. Also, we've got important things to learn here like, oh, hello. Who are you? Hello over there. I see you just sneak up. Who are you guys exactly? There's there's someone here. Hello? Who's there? Who's it's there? a... Oh, it's a vampire! I've stumbled on a vampire thing! Oh, that's cool! Right, well, let's get Moira in here for the time being to help out. Get my conjuration just sneaking up. How are you... Ooh. Hello? Are you not taking... Okay, you're taking some damage. It's just Serana. It's a terrible, terrible... 
terrible shot. Oh, wait, hang on. Don't don't kill her. I kind of want to have the, the soul. Because she's technically, like, alive, isn't she? No, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I think I get that. Yep, I got the soul. Good. Hit her with the bound sword during the actual death animation. So I get the actual soul. Nice. Right, so I've stumbled across another vampire-y sort of place. I'm not sure if this is a, a vampire-y sort of place in the base game too. I mean, Shriek Wind does sound like a sort of vampire-y sort of place, I'll admit. Any chance that finally filled up the... No, it still hasn't flipping filled up the Black Star. Get on with filling up the Black Star. That should be filled up as the priority. I've still got another flipping two empty Black Soul Gems. Now, what exactly is going on in here? Because, well, it's vampires, so probably it's all about... Ooh, virulent paralysis. Probably useless for me, because I've already got good illusion going on. Bandit thug obviously just got fed upon by these guys. Possibly in some form of ritual, because there's also a ruined book and it's vaguely in a circle. So, right. Probably nothing too dramatic going on here. Just some looting. Though dungeons are good, because urns have always got a little bit of money in them. Just keep that money ticking up. And we're going to learn something very important here, which is, if I... Okay, wait, 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 that's... Ah, screw you and... Oh, you killed it in one go. I wanted it soul for a petty soul gem. Right, I need to learn something important here, which is, if I decide to do the dragon summoning shout in sight, does it work? Particularly if I do it in a really narrow, small space. Because if it does, but it's really awkward, that'd be hilarious. Oh, here we go. No, sadly, I think the game is like, no, this is too small a space, you can't do it. Because if I try and summon the dragon, it's like, no. No, it just stops. Boo. So, uh, within a sufficiently small space, it just does not work. So, let's just quickly see if we can find maybe a slightly larger room. If we find just a slightly larger room, we might still be able to do this. It would be hilarious. Oh, this would be good. This would be... Oh, hello. This is nice. I like this. Maybe this is big enough. Hang on. Oh my goodness, yes. 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 No. No, it did nothing. And now I guess I'm just stuck waiting and doing nothing for like 9, 10 minutes or something. Oh, is that your rat? Serana, there's, there's a skeleton sneaking up on us, Serana. Maybe like go and deal with that. Also, I shouldn't have run over the blatant trap door. That was a bad idea. But yeah, this place is just guarded by skeletons. So let's just clear them out quickly. Get some petty souls out of all of them. And this is just iron doors into... Yeah, that just leads further and further in. Let's just check out the bottom bit first. If you just want to, like, you know, electrocute all of the skeletons or whatever, that'd be fine. So we've also got... Ah! Okay. So if I wanted to, I could just activate this handle and presumably just open up this... Ooh! Right! Okay, so that does not actually let me get on there. It's just a mechanism for... Killing whoever's on the... Oh, wait! Was that the room I was in just a minute ago? Because it had the circle and the book on it. Except there was no corpse. Did I move the corpse? I don't think I moved the corpse. Right, in any case, it doesn't do anything. Let's just move on. Because, yeah, we're just fighting our way past... Okay, seriously, Serana, you can't deal with that skeleton up there with all your magic. Oh, bloody hell. I should look at that new shout, by the way, because, yeah, he's teaching me a shout. He gave me a shout I needed to spend three souls to unlock in order to actually summon him. But now he's actually giving me something new as well. Soul tear. So, your thorn cuts through the flesh and shatters soul, commanding the will of the fallen. So, as I understand it, the way this thing works is the first and second tier recharge ludicrously quickly. And they're basically just a staggering thing, like foos, but they also have um, a soul thing on them, the soul trap effect, which is actually quite flipping useful. So go on then, let's get that underway and actually get that here, because that'd probably be better than using my bound sword all the time. Just being able to use soul tear and then just keep using my ebony sword, that'd be fine. Right, let's just quickly find something to give this a go to. Just need something to like wake up or attack me or something, possibly a vampire. Hello? Vampires? Well, I'll have some plentiful healing, why the bloody hell not, eh? We've got- ooh! Ooh, this is cool. Also, blood dripping from above somewhere. Right, so... Uh, right, they kept all the boots. They kept all the boots from all the people they killed. Because I guess, you know, boots are valuable. Ooh, and this is a bit creepy. Indents in the floor leading down to... Something. So, if there's a blood ritual, if someone is merged on the altar, the blood would logically flow 
down the pattern and across the floor and down to someone below. Ooh, that's a bit on the creepy side. Right. Ooh, that's quite valuable in terms of just selling as well. We've also got a ton of hanging moss and the open sky. Okay. But there's... Ooh. Right. What are you wanting me to do here, then? What I've just discovered by exploring a bit more thoroughly is there's a chain right here. A really obvious chain to the immediate right as I come into this room. So let's just chalk this one up to perception failure and be done with it. And now we got ourselves a series of pool things. Handles. Okay, that one doesn't do a thing. Presumably that opens the door that was already open. That one opens up a secret panel to where a vampire blatantly lives. This one I'm going to guess, yep, yeah, that opens up that. So, secret vampire room containing hide helmets, steel Nordic gauntlets. No vampire mind, not currently home. Fine. Then this one, ah, that one opened a different one of these. Or possibly that opened, like, both at the same time. Leather armor. Rather worryingly, no vampire. Why no vampire? Should be vampire. Skeleton's already dead. Serana took care of them for me. Then we've got... Check for traps. Nope, looks safe. Locksmith 18. Nothing of great value, really. Now, multiple different... Ooh, I like these. These are quite cool. The bits at the top with the little piggy Ganon faces. Right, those are nice. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say... Hang on, where's the... Where's the trap? Pull the one in the middle first. Right. One in the middle. Closes the door behind me. Then opens it again. Right. One on the right, then. Now, I'm going to guess that's potentially closed the door. Yeah, that's closed the door over to the right. Fine. So, hit the one on the right again. And now the one on the left. And now all the ways should be open, right? Yes, everything's open. Good, let's be on our way. And we've got... It's just bloody skeletons, isn't it? Right, soul tear for you. And that just... Yeah, that's a temporary stun and... Wait, I didn't get the... Oh, I don't get the soul trap yet. So right now, it's just a really, really fast recharging stun. Got it. I guess it only picks up the... Oh. No, that's that's an obvious trap. Right, watch out for the obvious trap. Serana's probably going to trigger it anyway, but whatever. Right, so that's brought me... Ah. Now I'm up here, top of this room. Lovely. So loop round here now, getting deeper and deeper. I like this little dungeon. This little dungeon's cool. Plus, it's nice to hang out with vampires a bit. Not the friendliest vampires. I'm the superior vampire, obviously. But still, it's nice to see other vampires out and about doing things in the world. Oh, we've got thralls. Right, okay, excuse me. No, right, stun him and... Oh, dear. Not a great thrall. So as it turns out, the shout's not soul trappy yet, because I didn't get his soul there. So that's a shame. And yeah, at this point, we're into... Ooh, flawless rubies and everything. Right. So now we're into the torture chambers and otherwise bleeding rooms of vampires. Very nice. Right. Back over to an aura whisper quickly. And actually, apparently there's nothing... Nothing around here right now. Okay. Slightly quiet dungeon. There must be a master vampire somewhere. More flipping just stuff I don't really need. Fine. Keep it cracking on. There must be a master vampire buried at the back here or something. Or maybe just a door into a deeper bit. No. Still no load zones. So who's running the show here? Because we've run into exactly one tough vampire so far. The Night Stalker at the beginning. After that, just nothing but flipping skeletons. So you can probably just go away. Lovely. And yeah, we're just getting higher and higher up this first room, which I quite flipping like. Uh, potentially, yeah, the reason I was looking the wrong direction, because I was just kind of going back on myself constantly. Now just That's go over here. That's an... Ah! Right. Well, there's something bad over there. These are probably going to run out of fuel at some point, right? Are these going to run out of fuel? Possibly, okay, these might not be going to run out of fuel. But that's fine, because what I can do is I can just sneak under them, right? Yeah, there we go. Serana's probably not going to be clever enough to do this, is she? She's just going to run straight through them like an idiot. Well, Moira is. Moira just doesn't care. But that's fine. <laughs> and Moira's just died, by the way. Right. So I'm guessing beyond this here trap door, this is the king of the vampires or something. right? Well, actually, no. I'm the king of the vampires. So don't worry. Actually, wait. Hang on. I can probably, presumably, now turn this off, right? Yeah, turn... No. Wrong, wrong lever. Right. Chain. 
Chain. Nice. Job done. Here you go, Serana. Perfectly safe. Oh, she wants to do flipping drama rolls through the room as well. Blimey. Didn't you do that? She was well ready for it. Right. Through we go. You've got to be the... Yep. Nightmaster Vampire. Number one. Distract. Get Conjuration up. Next up, keep stunning him with new shout thing. Right, that's... Didn't do much. But actually, in all fairness, we're getting one hand up. That's nearly 100. And actually, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Just keep going. That did nothing. In fact, I'm not even sure there was even an effect off that. Yeah, Nightmaster Vampire. The three of us together. Tearing him apart. Nice. Job done. Right, so, ooh, flawless sapphires and lockpicks and vampire dust and vampire armor. And, ooh, a gold diamond ring. Right, well, bare minimum, we are rich off this, which is nice. So here we are, just cementing ourselves as, ooh. Hello, thing of blood, and read this. Ah, oh, speech up to, nice. 59, that's not even bad speech, I like that. So what exactly, my good man, were you guarding... Back here, because yeah, I've seen this layout many times before. This just loops around in itself, presumably. Yeah, this just loops around in itself. Fine. So, uh, reward chest at the back. Possibly that's your lot. Turns out it might have just been some air waning for us. We can do without that. Ooh! That's actually pretty useful if I didn't already have the water breathing spell. That'd be very bloody useful indeed. Right, up we go. Wait, hang on. We've been going up this whole time. Ah! Maybe this is how you get up to the top of the mountain and that dragon sculpture I saw. We have to work our way through this whole dungeon. Though possibly we're not quite 100% done yet. Oh no. Right. We've got a wall of power and also some other stuff to take care of here. Right. You go up there. Distract him. Serana, you stay at the back. If you want to like summon something, this is a... Oh, it's a scourge. Oh. Well, that's a bit underwhelming for the final thing to pop out here. We've been taking care of you guys for quite some flipping time. Right, nice and simple. Lovely. Uh, right, so, word of power. Let's see what we got here. Anything good? And the word of power is... Grace. Oh, it's Elemental Fury. No, the thing I can't use, because apparently you can't use it when you've got any form of enchantment already on a weapon. Though, as some people pointed out, yeah, it's quite fun and useful if you're using, like, a pickaxe. Because it means you can do hyper-fast mining. Still, out we go here. And, yeah, the exit appears to be right at the top. Oh, Shriek Wind Overlook, I was right. Right to the top of the flipping mountain. And, admittedly, my vampire blood is sort of burning in the sunlight and stuff. But, yeah, here we go. This is... Wait. Okay, how am I supposed to get down from here? Like, I, I appreciate this is a really nice view, and there's, like, folk grief, but this doesn't really feel like a, a Skyrim door, to be honest. This just feels like a good way to kill yourself. Um, right. How am I supposed to bloody get down? Okay, on the bare minimum, I guess I can, like, if I jump off here, no, I'd, I'd probably die. That's too steep, even for this game. Right, okay. Well, bare minimum... We can try and figure out what's where here, which is, yeah, go and rejoin up with the road. And we're literally just around the corner from Folk Reef, as it turns out. So that's nice. Uh, we've done, yeah, that's the tower we've already gone and visited. Then there's, yeah, there's just a little burial mound over there. May or may not actually be bloody useful. Okay, well, Serana could. If I made her go first, then possibly I could follow her down using the... Yeah, that would be the fast way to get down. Hang on, Serana, I've got a plan. So the direction we want to go in is pretty much, yeah, straight down this way towards that there burial mound. Then we can loop round to Folk Reef itself. So, Serana, you just be right there, please. Yeah, right there. Okay, have a good flight. There she goes. Beautiful. So she's now gone down there somewhere and she's made it most of the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely way too slippery for me to jump down onto. Right, now we just wait for just a second. You just stay down there. I'll be with you in a sec. And as soon as I get my shout back... Fine. Become ethereal! Jump straight off. Have no corporeal body, so full damage doesn't hurt me. So now I can just get over here. And there we are. Job flipping done. And Serana will hopefully be willing to follow me. In a moment, she'll figure out how to do it, right? Yeah, probably anyway. Right, anyway, we've made it down here, so that's good. And now, having actually scouted ahead by being up there, I know for a fact that, yeah, there's just a little burial mound thing around the corner here that's probably nothing to worry about. Actually, in case it is something to worry about, let's just make sure we can summon a dragon. 
Now, guys, does anyone want to cause trouble for me right now? Because I wouldn't flipping recommend it, because it's almost night, and I do have a zombie dragon I can summon. Actually, my brain's telling me something about this place. My brain is currently telling me, watch out for Spriggans. I seem to recall at some point in a past life, I've been ambushed by Spriggans in this exact spot. Roadside ruins. Right, what have we got? Yep! Thought so. Right, okay. Serana, you go up ahead here. And now, let's just quickly get this dragon here. Because, oh, now I'm now I'm trapped underneath the dragon. Because he keeps giving me new words for soul tear. Which is quite useful. Okay, now I'm... Yeah, just just teach me fast. But, like, like faster. Will it, like, I kind of summoned you to help. Like, that's fine. Okay, good. I now can actually tear the enemy's soul from its living vessel. That's... That's... I'm literally trapped under a dragon. I kind of need him to... To take off. There we go. Lovely job done. Right. Let's go use that because it sounds fun. Right. In we go. In we go. In we go. What's going on here? You're just bringing people back from the dead, aren't you? Oh. Okay. That was a bit too fast. It was only one Spriggan as well. Fine. Spriggan has been taken care of. Lovely. And now I've got a dragon flying around. Don't attack Falkreef. I'm literally about... Wait. What? What just... I think I was just hit by some Skyrim physics going bananas, which does sometimes happen if you, like, walk on a bone, like, things just go nuts. Also, I'm not sure it's... Is it night or is it just really rainy? No, it is actually almost night as well. It's fine. Right, so it's just misty and rainy, and now I've got a dragon, like, naffing off. Yeah, there's just a dragon over there, just kind of, you know, circling, keeping me safe. That's nice. And if I'm right from how it looked from above, I should be just around the flipping corner from Folk Reef. Right flipping now. So that's nice. Just make my way over to Folk Reef. Do, 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 do. Actually, I think I can get rid of this guy. Hey, what happens if while I'm looking at him, I actually summon something new? So let's just quickly... You just come over here for a second. One is actually in sight. Wait for him to be in sight. Now, summon something else and... Now to see. Ooh. Yep. Lovely. So he literally just kind of fades out of existence. Marvellous. So basically, I've sort of accidentally banished him. That's cool. Right, so, and then as soon as the shout calms down, I can get Soul Tear 3. And Soul Tear 1 and 2 are really fast and now does actually tear someone's soul out. So, that's good to know. Here we are. I think we've now just found our way to Folk Reef. So, weapons? Wait, hang on. No. No, 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 no. Serana, me and you don't always have a good reputation. So, we need to actually, like, enter properly. Evening officer, don't worry about me, just me and my evil horse come to check out Folk Reef. And also my extremely older vampire girlfriend and my evil horse. Don't worry about us, we're just looking for stabling and a place to sleep and some innocence to- Wait, hang on, not that last one, just the first two. And yeah, here we are. Folk Reef apparently, little town, not huge, but we've made our way here. And while we're actually here, I'd say we may as well, like, go and meet the Jarl and whatever. Actually, if there's one town in Skyrim that I've never really bothered, like, investigating properly in any of my playthroughs, it's probably this one, because the main plot doesn't really bring you down here, if I recall correctly, but it's actually... It's bigger than I remembered. There's... There's more people floating around. It's still basically a fairly small town, but, like, I remembered it being, like, Rorikstead size, but no, it seems a fair bit bigger than that. So, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Next time, we'll pick up here in Folk Reef. We'll go and have a little looksy round. We'll chat to people. We'll make some friends. We'll meet the Yar. We'll probably be given some missions to do. And if we decide those are interesting enough, we may well go around the local area doing a few bits and pieces, as well as just helping out with the actual moth priest knife business and be on our way to that. So, that is coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Medi a True Nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.